everyone, this is Feylandea. In today's episode, this is going to be a quick visual tutorial on how to add your favorite mod to carry the Anhydrous Ammonia from the new Anhydrous Ammonia add-on that has been dropped on a mod hub. So stay tuned, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so we, before we get started doing any edits, we find ourselves here on my farm here in Westbridge Hills, and I'm going to pop over here to my Case IH sprayer. Now, I have already added anhydrous to the sprayer, so to check it, I'm using easing development controls, and here we see liquid fertilizer and, ah, missing fill anhydrous L10 in XML. I'm not really worried about the missing whatever it is. I just want to do this and boom, there it is. It is filled with anhydrous. That missing XML is because this vehicle doesn't have the code in the vehicle itself for the anhydrous, but the game recognizes the anhydrous. This thing is using anhydrous and we're good to go. So we need to find a vehicle that does not take anhydrous. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to come under crop protection. And let's use, uh, do I want the one by JJ? Do I want this one? We'll go with this one. So uh, we'll go with this John Deere R4045. And let's just throw the additional tanks on there just to be cool. We'll throw an Isaria, we'll throw sea and spray, we'll throw GPS. Um, I'm, whoops, I'm just gonna lease it because we're not gonna keep this tractor on a farm. This is just for an example. And if I pop in here, and I go to easy development controls, liquid fertilizer, herbicide. That's all I could put in this machine. Okay, so I wanna be able to enable this thing to have anhydrous, easy enough. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna save the game with this sprayer out and I'm gonna quit the desktop. And then I'm gonna open up my mods folder, which is right here. Uh, oops, let's go ahead and shrink this down a bit. Yeah, take this mods folder and just put it right like so. And then I'm going to grab my, there it is. Okay, so we've got the vehicle referenced. All right, the next step is we need to grab our add-on. So we're going to come back here to the mod hub. And if we search mods and hydrous ammonia add-on, click that and it should come right at the uh, top there, even though other mods come up. And this is it right here. I'm not going to read the description or explain the mod to you. You're watching this video because you already have the mod and you want to add the anhydrous to your thing. Because down here at the bottom, it says the anhydrous Lua file contains many base game sprayers injectors. It could be enabled by simply uncommenting the appropriate lines. Additionally, there is an example of how to enable an existing mod to allow for anhydrous to be accepted as a fill type. Well, it took me a little bit to find that. I'm not as quick as other people, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and download this. I've already got a folder set aside for uh, this. So I'm going to go to downloads, FS22, uh, anhydrous add-on edit. So. The reason why I call it edit is because I'm going to be editing in this video. I created this folder just for the purposes of this video. Honestly, you could just take this zip file, just drop it straight into your mod folder and you're fine. All right. So we'll take the FS22 and Hydrus add-on dot zip. We'll save it there. And then I'm going to go show in folder, which will bring that box up. We don't need the browser anymore. Uh, let's tell it about actually, I'm just going to close it. And then I'll take this box and slap it over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use what you could use whatever zip program you like. I use 7-Zip and I'm going to ag extract this to FS22 anhydrous ammonia add-on in a folder just like this. Then I'm going to open this up. Then we have an anhydrous Lua file. 
If you have not associated this with Notepad++, or if you don't use Notepad++, I suggest downloading Notepad++ and using it to look at these files. So we'll open up Notepad++, and I'm going to take this out of full screen just to make things a little bit easier. I'm just going to resize this window so that I'm working around my, my boxes over here. And we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Now, at the bottom, we see some green text in, in Notepad++. It should be green by default unless you've changed it. Referencing other installed mods you wish to enable to accept anhydrous. Ensure all prior lines end with a comma. And the final line does not, as illustrated below. Gmods directory, FS22, for subsoil or whatever, equals true. So they've already enabled one mod, which I have already. So that's kind of cool that they've enabled it. So what tells us that we're going to the mod directory is this right here. This G underscore mods directory. And then we have a space two periods, a space, a single quote, and then the path inside the mod of our XML file equals true. Now, since this is the only line, there's no comma, right? Well, we need to change that. So I'm going to add a comma, then press enter, which is going to put me right here. I'm also just going to copy this line without the comma, and I'm just going to paste it. That makes things easier. The first thing we need is our mod name. So over here, we're going to actually come back up and I'm going to copy this Faye JJ John Deere R4045, which by the way, it's JJ's R4045. But what I did was I added precision farming to it. So that's why I've got my own version of it. So Faye JJ John Deere 4045 is there before the slash. Now I need the XML and it's right here. R4045 XML. Okay, let's paste that in equals true. It's as simple as that. That's all I need to do. Now, remember, this is the last line of all these mods. And by the way, everything up here is included. So because this is the bottom line of all the mods or vehicles, this one has to not have a comma, no comma on the last line. For example, I could have like 10 things here with whatever. All of them have a comma. And then this last one, no comma. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and then we're going to close this. And then what I want to do is I want to take my edited anhydrous ammonia add-on folder. By the way, just so you guys know, you do not, you absolutely do not have to zip a mod for it to recognize in your mods folder. So here's my games mod folder right here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it and I'm gonna drop it in here. All right, so in our mods folder, we have FS22 and Hydrous Ammonia add-on in here, and we take a look at our Lua. We confirm, yes, I do have the mod added. Uh, this is a cut in a video because I had already done the, the uh, Trident and the Titan. Now we have a John Deere with this. Let's go into game and see if our changes worked. Okay, so we're in the game. Let's hop in our sprayer, go into easy development controls because it's the easiest way, and boom, there it is. And Hydrous Ammonia is now in our sprayer. Awesome. It's as simple as that. All you got to do is just take your mod and copy it into the bottom of that file and you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you find it uh, useful. I know there's people out there that are visual learners and don't really get it just from reading text. So that's why I created this video to help you out. You guys take care and I'll see you in my next live stream.